Since Anthropic introduced Model Context Protocol, or MCP, in November 2024, developers have used MCPs to extend coding agents for tasks beyond editing and gathering context. Klein gives you the ability to connect to MCP servers and extend its abilities. Understanding how MCP works and how it could fit into your coding workflow can be a huge value add. And many organizations are now experimenting with MCPs to bridge legacy systems, connect to databases, and integrate with SaaS platforms without having to rewrite large parts of their stack. MCP stands for Model Context Protocol, and the keyword here is protocol. And because MCP is a protocol, not an application, it allows communities to build MCP servers for existing applications that we use today. And when this MCP server code has been written once, it can be used by others directly within their environment, which makes it an extremely convenient and efficient tool to use in client. One common analogy that people use to understand MCP is that MCP functions like an API. While API is a very close analogy, it misses this is one critical part about MCP. While MCP does operate like an API where different actions are exposed for the agent to perform, it misses a few critical elements of what MCP is in its entirety. APIs expose endpoints that require you to not only know the endpoints, but also how to structure your requests to what the API endpoints actually expects. And this kind of configuration often leads to rigid integrations tied to specific implementation. MCP, on the other hand, not only exposes their tools to be called, but also doesn't just require the user to understand how to actually structure the request to call each tool. In other words, adding MCP in Klein is like adding custom tools that you can plug directly into Klein to extend Klein's abilities. One of the biggest advantages to using MCP is that unlike an API, the burden in understanding how each endpoint works is put on the agent rather than the user. In other words, once you set up the MCP server, unlike the traditional APIs, you don't have to worry about how to actually call the function, what data to pass in, and what data type to expect on return. Turn. MCP essentially takes on all the burden in communication between the agent and the target system. Another distinguishing mark of MCP that is different from an API is when it comes to hosting. An API is typically hosted server side that allows a client application to use their service, whereas most MCP server run directly on your machine, though remote MCP is now becoming more prevalent. In other case, MCP is typically referred to as MCP server for that very reason, meaning the MCP server needs to be hosted on an environment whether it's on your machine or in a remote server. Once you install an MCP in Klein, an instance of an MCP server will be started and a session is established between Klein and the MCP server, which allows communication to occur between Klein and the MCP. There are three mediums that communication occurs for MCP servers, SDDIO, HTTP over SSE, and HTTP over streamable. SDDIO or standard input and output allows for locally hosted MCPs to be communicated using the standard input and output directly on your machine. This is the most simple way of communicating to an MCP server since there is no networking layer involved. Another method is through HTTP over SSE, though this is now considered legacy. Using SSE or server-side events allows for communication to occur over HTTP over SDDIO through a process. One major difference between SSE and streamable is the directionality of communication, where SSE is primarily one way from server to client, while streamable method extends beyond to allow bi-directional streaming. In other words, SSE adds network overhead since compared to the streamable method, it requires a persistent connection to use them. Client allows you to connect to MCP servers in three main methods, MCP marketplace, remote MCP, or manually setting up the MCP file. You can browse through client's marketplace and discover and install pre-configured MCP servers. Using client's MCP marketplace is an easy way to install MCPs with a single click. And going back to how MCP is a protocol, which means it can be implemented by a community of developers. Marketplace is a great way to have commonly used MCP servers in one repository at your fingertips. Remote MCP is another way to connect to MCP servers. Instead of traditional MCPs that run on your machine, Machine, remote MCP are hosted externally. Finally, we can go to the install tab in Klein. Here, you can also add or configure the MCP servers manually by either toggling with the UI or directly opening up Klein's JSON configuration file for MCP servers. The JSON file includes important settings on all MCPs that your environment has in Klein. Here, there are important settings to keep in mind. Auto approve shows that a list of commands that Klein is able to run without asking for permission. Type is what determines how the connection 
is established to the MCP servers. And as we discussed earlier, this is where you see the medium on how the communication between client and MCP server will transpire. Some MCPs will require API keys, which are included in this JSON file as well. For example, Perplexity MCP requires an API key to be added to use as an MCP in client. A common way to install MCP is by simply asking client to install an MCP server, and client will find and create MCP servers on your behalf. For example, if you wanted to extend client's ability to search the web using Perplexity, which is an AI search engine that curates information, you can simply type in client's prompt, can you install Perplexity MCP? And once client receives this prompt, he will find and install the MCP for your client setup.